Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. We're making another recipe from this book by Jamie Oliver. It's called Five Ingredients. We're going to be making cherry chocolate mousse today. It'll take around 30 minutes. You will need a can of black cherries, 200 milliliters of double cream, two tablespoons of caster sugar, four large eggs separated, and 200 grams of dark chocolate. You'll need to melt this on the stove or in the microwave, whichever way you prefer. Pour the double cream into a large bowl and whip the cream for about two minutes. Once it thickens up a little bit, you're ready to add your egg yolks and sugar. Give that a really good whisk and then set the cream mixture aside. Okay, so now you need to wash your whisk and get ready for the next part. Add your egg whites to an empty bowl. Now, to your egg whites, add a pinch of salt and then beat it until it's super stiff. I actually forgot to add salt and then I added it in later. This took me around three to four minutes. This is the kind of consistency you want. You want it to be super stiff. And now we need to go back to the cream mixture. Once the chocolate has cooled down, you need to fold it into the cream. Meanwhile, simmer the cherries and their syrup in a non-stick frying pan on a medium heat until thick and then remove. Fold the egg whites into the chocolate mixture. I've done this a little bit at a time just so that it's easier to fold in and it combines better. In the recipe it says to take the chocolate mixture and fold it into the egg whites but because I had the chocolate mixture in a larger bowl I did it the other way around and it worked just as fine. Okay, so now I'm going to put it all together, interspersing between the cherries and the mousse. And in the book, it says that it makes about six servings, but to be honest, we had about eight, I think. We actually had the dessert in dessert pots, which were smaller than these glasses, and that made the portion more manageable. Also, the mousse was a tiny bit too rich for us, so I actually added about a half a cup of double cream to the mixture, which made it so much nicer. It was just so delicious. My nephew actually did a taste test for me because he's a massive foodie. You'll need to wait to the end to hear his verdict. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Bye. It's a thumbs up from me.